Super Mario Galaxy! Wahoo! Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Super Mario Galaxy 2 playthrough. That's right guys, it's finally time to start this game. I feel like a lot of people have been really, really waiting for this, especially after I announced this game would be a playthrough in this year, especially after the success of the Super Mario Galaxy playthrough last year. I'm going to say it was successful because you guys voted it for Project of the Year, so it had to have been good in some form. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be starting Super Mario Galaxy 2. I still remember when this game was first announced. It was E3 2009. Nintendo was having a very, very rough uh, press conference. And uh, close to the end of their conference, they dropped the uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2 bomb. And uh, really happy they did. Uh, I was really, really pumped for this game. I got the game, and I proceeded to beat it in a three-day period of time when it came out. I am not joking. You can ask any member of the Crystal Star Studio and Old Blarg Pit community. Uh, we all got together and we played the crap out of this game. We played it to death and like we all beat it really, really quickly because the hype for this game was just so freaking real. Uh, these days, honestly, after reflecting on it, I think I still prefer the original Galaxy more than this game. Uh, but this game, honestly, was very solid too. I'm really looking forward to playing this and sharing this experience with you guys. And yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into it, honestly. I think that's the best way to do this. Um, okay, so we have the three heroes of the universe. Slim Kirby, Toad, and George Costanza. Um, is there a way I can delete a file? Um, yeah, we can erase this. Sorry, Toad, but don't worry. I'll, uh, I'll reform you in just a moment. No worries about that. We're gonna go... Um... Yeah, we'll use Toad. Why not? So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get this started. Now, let me tell you a new story that also begins with Stardust. Shimmering Stardust falls on the Mushroom Kingdom once a century. That time had come again. Dear Mario. Dear Mario, would you like to share some cake while we watch the shooting stars? Meet me at the castle. The Star Festival had just begun. Toads everywhere were celebrating. Star bits rained down from the sky. Sony PlayStation. The strange little fellow seemed confused. Was he lost? He seemed to take a shine to Mario. Mario's cap filled with warmth as he felt a new power surging through him. PlayStation. Um. Okay, so you shake the, uh... Emote to spin. You can break open these crystals, and you can also get kind of a extra double jump, I guess, from doing that. Not so much a double jump, more of like a, a saving grace spin that you can use if you uh, are not going to make your jump. What's this? Was this one of the little fellow's friends? Whoa! What's that scary sound? 
Oh boy, it's Bowser. He's back. Ah, get everyone panicked. Can we break that crate? No, we can't. Okay. It's a monster! The sky is falling! <laughs> Where's the ship? You're too late, Mario. The power of the stars is already mine, and look what else I got. Gwahaha! <laughs> I'm huge! Even scarier up close, huh? Maybe I'll have Peach bake me something for once. I sure could go for a galaxy-sized slice of cake right now. I'm way too huge for this puny planet. I deserve an empire that's more me size. And I'll put it in the center of the universe. Have fun with your stupid mushrooms. And then he jumps into the purple darkness, as most video games villains do at some point in their lives. Okay, so, yep. Bowser's uh, off to conquer the galaxies again. Same old, same old. We shouldn't be surprised by this point. Mario, where did that monster come from? He took your princess to the center of the universe. You must hurry and save her. Oh, Master Luma! Young Master Luma, did you get thrown overboard too? Good thing you're safe. I see, so you're going to stay in Mario's cap? That should be safe for now. But Mario, you have other things to worry about, like saving the princess. But how? I know. With young Master Luma's help, you can use the power of the stars. And we Lumas can help a little, too. Because remember, they can change into anything. As thanks for saving our friends, we'll send you into space to get that monster. Now, let's go after them. Okay, so here we go. Let's get this game started. And they're literally going to just throw us right into the game, which I think is really cool. I kind of like this as opposed to the uh, kind of the weird bunny catching tutorial of Super Mario Galaxy 1. But that's just personally me. Okay, so we're in the Sky Station Galaxy. Pee Wee Piranha's Temper Tantrum. Wonder if there's any uh, relationship to uh, PD Piranha and Dino Piranha. We'll just have to wait and see. Our power stars, they're gone. Some gigantic monster stole them. If you're going after that monster, you might see our power stars out there too. Please bring our power stars back. We Lumas will help you along your way. Uh, so yeah, there's not really a whole lot to say, uh, especially if you've watched the Galaxy playthrough. Um, the gameplay feels pretty much exactly the same. And uh, yeah, if you've played Galaxy 1, you're very familiar with the controls here. It's a frickin' platformer, as you would know. You can jump, you can move around with the control stick, uh, you can do some other cool little moves, like you can do this uh, backward somersault, you can do a wall jump like I did to get up here. I already kind of explained the uh, spin jump. Uh, you can do a triple jump if you... Uh, you have to kind of be running, and you have to kind of press all the buttons in quick succession, but uh, it is definitely a thing you can do. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I feel like there's another way to get up here. I kind of took the uh, shortcut way of getting up here. Yeah, we have some pipes. Uh, let's, out of curiosity, let's see where they go. Oh, okay. So we have a one-up right here. That's an extra life. Gives you an extra life. That's really all you need to know about those. That kind of goes without saying. Um, enemies. I could have shown them right here, but I'll show it here. Uh, if you spin into enemies, you'll kind of knock them up, and then you can kick them for star bits. Or, you can actually jump on them to get a coin. Uh, some enemies will act in different ways, though. Like, I don't... There's some enemies you can only get coins with. And there might be some enemies you can only get star bits with, for example. And, uh... Coins, uh, they basically... Uh, more coins you get uh, during a mission. I think if you get enough, you'll get, like, uh extra life. I think it's only like 50 for an extra life, and same with Star Bits. Uh, star Bits, I'd argue, are more important, though, because they're actually required uh, to actually uh, 
unlock certain things in the game. Uh, but don't ignore coins e either, because coins can also refuel your health, I think. And actually, no, they can. No, I'm thinking of other games. Yeah, yeah, they can't. Re they they can't restore your health. But there are some coin lumas in this game that you want to probably uh, collect along the way. Uh, let me just very quickly go over here. Bust open this. Get some more star bits. Uh, I think whenever you see like a rock like this, if you shoot a star bit at it, um, well, there'll be other items, not just one single star bit, but um. Yeah, be on the lookout for little things like that. You never know when they'll actually be helpful. Um, don't think we'll need this, but I'll go ahead and read this sign. Here's a tip. You can spin defeat enemies. Want to see how? No, because I already showed you how. So yeah, this information board can give you uh, some tutorial hints if you ever need them. Not that I ever will or anything. And yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and move on here. And then you can collect star bits with just the uh, Wiimote. If you actually see them on screen, you can collect them pretty much. Uh, one thing I definitely um, kind of noticed about Galaxy 2, especially when I first played it, um, even though it is a 3D game, I feel like they have a lot of very linear, almost 2D platforming segments. Unlike, uh, unlike Galaxy 1. Okay, I guess coins do refill your health. For some reason, I didn't think they did, because it just seems like they have use coins a lot more in this game, so it seemed kind of, like, broken to just have coins everywhere. But no, okay, I guess I was wrong. My bad. I didn't mean to give incorrect information, I just kind of made an assumption. Never make assumptions, kid. S seriously, never do that. Don't make a me mistake. Uh, whenever you see this big coin, if you grab it, uh... Something like this will usually happen. Not all times, but most times. Sometimes you can get like extra lives or extra groupings of star bits, or sometimes it may even lead you to a secret pathway, uh, the star bits, or even a secret uh, star mission as well. So be on the lookout for those kind of things. Okay. Still trying to get into the swing of things with all the platforming in this game. Uh, it's, it's very easy and quick to get into, so I, that's definitely how I kind of was in the Galaxy 1 playthrough, where it kind of started out a little rough, but um, over time I got used to it, and it was very, very easy to control. Nintendo just always has gameplay pretty down pat when it comes to certain things. Uh, whenever you see these paths, shake the limo, and you'll go to a little bonus area. Uh, usually in these bonus areas, like I said before, uh, you can find ways to get star bits coins and other um, other things. As you can see, we got some one-ups right here. And I want to say, yeah, after the rainbow star runs out, you get sent back to your uh, location and then you just continue the mission as normally. Uh, one thing I feel like this game really does because of just... Uh, the way these levels are structured, is I feel like uh, Galaxy 2 tries to focus a lot on speedrunning. Uh, we won't see it right now, but I think once you unlock uh, Luigi, which uh, Luigi, unlike in Galaxy 1, he's not really a secondary like mode, he's actually more of like a time trial mode. So, um... Like, I feel like a lot of the levels are pretty well structured in the sense where if you, uh know your stuff and know your platforming and stuff, you can do like these missions very, very quickly. So I think they really wanted to kind of uh, do something with that in this game. Also, whoa. That was kind of... That was kind of spooky right there. <laughs> Mario kind of orbited around the galaxy a few times, I guess. And yeah, they also have like checkpoints and stuff too. As opposed to Galaxy 1, where it seemed like whenever you got to a certain point, it just saved your progress, and like if you died, you just go to wherever you started the planet at. Kind of a weird thing. It's, it, it, in a sense, it is like kind of like what I said earlier. They really tried to make this like more of a 2D Mario platformer. A, well, a 2D, 3D. I, I guess that's not the right word. Maybe more so a linear 
experience, while Galaxy, there were like a lot of levels where you just kind of had to walk around and uh, explore the planet till you found stuff, as opposed to just, you know, having like a straightforward pattern you'd have to do. Uh, over here we have a Comet Medal. Uh, there is, I believe, one Comet Medal in every single level of the game. And uh, this will basically make uh, the Comet Stars appear for those levels. Now the funny thing is, I don't think it... I don't know how exactly it works. I feel like whenever you get a Comet Medal, it's not so much the Comet for that level. It'll just basically make a Comet appear. And then, like, it'll never give you, like, more comets than you have of comet medals or something like that. But again, it's hard to say because you unlock the comets later anyway. So I can't really confirm or deny that. I don't know, it's weird. I feel like in my first playthrough there was, like, a lot of bouncing around and it didn't really matter which comet medals I had and which ones I didn't have. That's kind of what I'm trying to say there. But again, I, I don't know this game as well as I do Galaxy 1, so I could be wrong. I'm willing to admit that. Uh, that's a health mushroom. Basically, whenever you get those, you have an extra health bar. So, um... They'll, they'll generally give you those before you uh, go to boss fights. So you can kind of, uh... Have more hits to take against the boss. Also, I am up to 13 lives already. I'm, I'm still on the first level. That's freaking insane. And well, this should look kind of familiar. Okay, maybe not entirely familiar, but uh, kind of the same basic premise as Dino Piranha. Gonna break open the egg so we can kind of uh, find that sensitive booty, I guess. And we just hit it a few times, and then, uh, pretty much all she wrote. I'm gonna probably grab some star bits here before we finish this off. Come here, come here. Is that it, or do we got one more hit? Oh, okay, just gonna reform the egg, I guess. So, I, think, I guess we just have, like, another cycle, and then, uh... Then this boss is dead. Have you ever noticed in like most Mario games as of late, maybe more so the 3D games, three's not really the magic number for boss hits. It seems like sometimes they go with four. Like it's weird. Like I, I've kind of noticed that where like three's not really the magic number all the time anymore. There always seems to be like an extra hit to kind of show you like what the impact is, then they do the three hit thing. I don't know. Something I've noticed in like more recent platformers, anyway. Maybe not just ne maybe not necessarily Mario, because that was definitely not three hits. And if it's not like four hits or something, it's like one of these fights where it's just like you do three hits and then you do three hits again, so it's just like a double three hit or something. Which I I don't really have a problem with that. I'm, honestly, it probably makes the game a little more difficult if they actually have more than three hits, but just kind of felt like something I to point, wanted to point out there, I guess. So yeah, there we go. We have our first power star of the game, Pee Wee Piranha's Temper Tantrum. And we get a Comet Medal 2, we add our star bits to our total, and we can also add coins to our total as well. Um, I'm sure there's something we can do with those, but for right now... Let's get some story here. So you're this Mario guy my little Lumas won't stop blabbing about, am I right? Sorry to hear about the excitement you had with that Bowser monster down in the Mushroom Kingdom. I sure appreciate you bringing us this Power Star though. We need as many of those as we can get. The name's Lubba, by the way. I'm the head honcho of this Luma crew. See, believe it or not, we're on a spaceship right now. Took some real elbow grease to convert this little planetoid into a ship, but we Lumas pulled it off. May not look like much, but it's home. Truth be told, the ship, she's not in such hot shape right now. Ran, ran into that Bowser monster too. He blasted us with his meteors and some of my crew were thrown overboard. So that Bowser monster kidnapped your princess, eh? That cold, deep space clod, if you ask me. 
You know what else is cold? That b monster stealing every last one of our power stars. See, that's our fuel. Our spaceship runs on energy from power stars. Without that, we're stranded here. Ayo, oh, is that is that young Master Luma? It is, isn't it? Wow. What? What? Wait. If you have the trust of young Master Luma, hmm. Say, I just might have a little proposition for you. Hear me out now. Your special someone got kidnapped, and now you got to save her. Am I right? And we need fuel for our ship. Now, if you think you could get back some of our power stars for us, I'd be willing to make this ship your very own for a bit. That's a fair exchange, am I right, Mario? Why can't I say no? <laughs> Alright, it's a deal. Okay, gang, let's get cracking, yeah? I want everything space ship shape. As a result, he's going to change the starship into a Mario ship. So, welcome aboard the starship Mario. Lubba's crew rebuilt the spaceship to look just like Mario. Well, what do you think? Nice spaceship, yeah? More like a face ship, har har. Well, at least you'll never lose it in a parking lot, am I right? Har har. So what's next? Don't look at me. This ship has your face on it, not mine. The decision is yours. Feel free to explore Starship Mario or take the helm if you're ready to ship out. It's your call, Captain. So, if you remember, um, Super Mario Galaxy kind of uh, took a step down from Hub Worlds, from like Sunshine and Mario 64, and you have the Comet Observatory. I feel like Super Mario Galaxy 2 actually shrinks down even more. You can kind of walk around here, you can uh, talk to some of the crew if you want. I believe, I don't remember where exactly it is, but I know there's a way you can get like a one-up. If you uh, do something right, I'll probably figure it out in time. Uh, but yeah, like basically, Starship Mario is the Comet Observatory shrunk down even more. There are like a few different rooms you can enter. Um, they don't really show a whole lot though. This kind of looks like the uh, little observatory rooms that were in the uh, first game, but um. There's still nothing that spectacular. My job is to take energy from each star, uh, power star and convert it into fuel. So that's how basically how we'll uh, move through the wonderful world of space. So yeah, like, again, like every... Super Mario Galaxy 1 had like little domes you could go into, which basically had access to all the different worlds. Uh, you essentially just access all the worlds from just a world map in this game as we'll uh, demonstrate here in just a moment so you see this thing up here you just step on this and quite literally Quite literally, we have a world map. So this is the world map. Just point the cursor at your destination and press A to jump into that galaxy. Like I said, this spaceship runs on energy from power stars. Right now it looks like we got enough power to go this far. We're going to need more power stars. So let's do it for your princess and my crew. Take it away, Captain. So yeah, uh, essentially you have to... Uh, go through all the different worlds, unlock all of the galaxies, uh, get the power stars from those galaxies, and that's essentially how this game works. I, again, I I don't know, like, I guess I guess it's kind of better this way, because, you know, in Galaxy 1 it was just looking at, like, a space radar of all the different galaxies in each dome. Here you at least have, like, a world progression, I guess, but, um, I don't know. I, I guess I just kind of prefer the, uh, uh, 64 and Sunshine way of doing things where they have like more open worlds uh, well more open than this anyway and you just kind of like uh, work on a world at your leisure whatever world you want to work on as opposed to just kind of working linearly 
It's hard to say, though. I mean, again, this game's not bad. I think this game does fine with what it does, so you can't really say this game is doing anything wrong. That's just personally what I prefer, kind of the older 3D way of doing things.